Welcome everybody. It's Jerry here. It's good to see you. I'm so glad you're back again this Sunday. We're going to have tons of fun today as we sing and we meet a special guest. This speaking of special guests, let's say hello to my friend Jyoti here. Hi Jyoti. Hi. Say hi to the boys and girls. Hi. hi. Jyoti's here to help us today. I'm so happy that she's here. Well, as you know, we have a couple rules and I don't know, can you help me with those rules? Can you show me two fingers like that? Let me see. That's right, two fingers, okay? And rule number one is, can you show me one finger? Be safe. Very good. So rule number one is be safe. And rule number two, be kind. That's right. And so you can be kind by maybe sitting down if you have siblings that are there, being quiet and listening. And yeah, that's great. And so you can be, maybe you can be quiet so everybody can hear. Good job. All right. Well, oh. Oh. hello. Um, okay. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I can tell the boys and girls that. Sure. No problem. Thanks, Telephony. All right. Bye. Oh, hey, you know what? Telephony says that she thinks it's time that we should stand up and sing together. So let's stand up and we're going to do our power shuffle. something really important. I forgot to say hello to you. I want to say hello to all of you out there. Can you wave and say hello? And I'll give you a big hug like this. All right. Hi. Well, today, boys and girls, I, I don't know about you, but after that power shuffle, I'm all warmed up. Are you guys warmed up now? Great singing. Okay. Go ahead and sit down on the count of three. One, two, 
three. Have a seat. Great job. All right. Today, we're going to learn that the Bible tells us to obey. Obey? Hmm. Obey means we listen and we do what we're told to do. So say our special words with me. Ready? The Bible tells us to obey. Excellent. Hey, you know what? Sometimes I don't want to obey. One time, actually, my mom told me not to eat a cookie. But I didn't listen, and I ate the cookie anyway. I didn't obey. I should have obeyed, shouldn't I? But sometimes it's hard to obey. Sometimes it's, it's hard for each of us to obey. Today, we're going to hear a Bible story about a man who did obey God. Let's listen to the story because the Bible tells us to obey. Hey, let's open Benny the backpack and see what fun things he has for us to help us tell the story. Let me take a look. Uh, ooh. We've seen this before, right, boys and girls? This is our Bible. That's right. And, hey, there's some more things in here. Let me see. Oh. Look what I found in Benny the backpack. Wow, that is really cool. Look at this. Hey, do you guys know what this is? Can you see that? You know what that is? That's right. It's a hammer. And, and can you tell me what that is? Can you see that? Ah, excellent. That's right. It's a saw. We got a hammer and a saw. I think we're ready to tell our story. Oh, so let's click on our listening ears. Click, click. Click, click. And let's put on our special eyes. Shukum. Shukum. Oh. In the Bible, there's a true story of a man named Noah. Noah loved God and God, God loved Noah. Hmm, the Bible says that God told Noah that lots and lots of rain was gonna come. Hey, can you guys help me make a rain sound? Do you know how to do that as you're sitting on the floor? Do you know how to do that? Can you go like this? If you do it together, you hear that? It sounds like rain, doesn't it? Well, God told Noah that there was gonna be a lot of rain. Now. God also told Noah that he wanted him to build a great, big, big, big boat. Can you guys go like this? Like, I think it was much way bigger than this. A big, big boat. Now, do you think that, the, that Noah listened to God and obeyed him? Yep, he did. Noah made the boat, and he listened to God and did what God told him to do. Noah obeyed God. So, first, I need to saw the wood for the boat. Let me get a piece of wood. Now, I'm sure Noah had a lot, and I'm sure he saw it, and 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 it took a long, long time. And then, after that, and he had his pieces, I think Noah had to pick up the hammer, and he hammered, and he hammered. He hammered really, really big nails into the boat. Excellent. Well, the Bible says that Noah listened to God and obeyed him. It was hard to build that boat, the big boat, and it took a really long time. Noah built the big boat that God had told him to build. And then God told Noah to put two of every animals into the boat. Do you think that Noah did what God asked? Yep, you're right, he did. Noah listened to God and he did what God told him to do. He put the animals in the boat. Oh, let me see what we have in Benny the backpack. He, I think he has some things for us. Hmm, he's got some things. Oh. Let me see. I think I have that, and I have that. Wait, I've got, I've got tons of animals in here. I'm going to try and get these together. So 
he has two cows. Can you see the cow? One and two. And mm, the cows, what, the, what noise do the cows make? That's right. Well, Noah got two cows and he put them in the boat. Let me see. Let's see what else we have here. We have, oh, can you see what that is, boys and girls? That's a horse. One horse, two horses. And he put them in the boat. Oh, I see some more animals in here. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, these are, these are teeny tiny ones. Let's see what we have here. Can you see what they are? They're little frogs. That's right. So he took even two little teeny little frogs and he put them in the boat. Oh, I think I might have two more here. Let's see. What is that? Oh, a big one and a little one. I have two. Can you see what that is? One, two. That's right. Two elephants. And he put them in the boat. And he got them all in there. And once he did, God told him to close the doors. That it was time to close the doors because the time was coming. And he closed the doors. And it started to rain. Remember? Let's make our rain noise. And it rained. And it rained. And it rained. And the rain fell just like God said it would. And as more and more rain came, there was more and more water outside the boat. And even though it rained a lot, Noah and his family and all of the animals were safe inside the boat. But it sure was crowded in there. And could you imagine how stinky it was? Yoo-wee! It must have been really stinky with all of those animals. You know what I'm talking about. Well, finally, boys and girls, finally, one day, the rain stopped. And God told Noah, come out of the boat. He went, come out of the boat. Say that with me. Come out of the boat. So, of course, Noah obeyed. And he came out of the boat. And he said, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for keeping us safe. Then God put a rainbow in the sky. He put it in the sky to promise Noah that he would never make it rain that hard again. God kept Noah and his family and all the animals safe. Noah was safe because he listened to God and did what God told him to do. Noah obeyed God. Noah obeyed God. Now, the story of Noah is in the Bible. You have it right here. It's in the Bible. Remember our, our theme for today, boys and girls? I'm going to put this down. I'll put this right back here. Remember our theme? What do we say? The Bible tells us to obey. Well, I want to obey just like Noah did. I'm going to put all the animals back. Maybe you can help me. We're going to put the elephants back. And we're going to put the little froggies back. And we're going to put the horses back. And we're going to put the cows back. Because we need to make some space here, boys and girls. And put the wood back there. And I think we're ready now. Because it's time to stand up and sing. Let's stand and sing. There's a spirit I cannot contain There's a spirit I cannot contain The same power that raised Jesus up from the grave The same spirit I cannot contain
these bones Your fire in my soul Your kingdom is my home And I don't walk alone Everywhere I go on this road High and low Where I go, I go with you So I won't be afraid This my home, come what may Where I go, I go with you singing. Hey, we're going to go ahead and play a game now, and that means that we can open Grover the game box. Let's see what, what Grover has for us. He always has fun things for us to do. So I'll open Grover the game box, and I'll tell you what's inside. <gasps> Woo! There are some really fun things inside. Oh, let's take a look at this. I found this. Can you see what that is, boys and girls? It's a plate and it's a cup. <gasps> I wonder what this is about. Hmm. As I look at this, it reminds me of something. I don't know. Maybe when we eat dinner, yeah? Well, sometimes our mom and dad ask us to put our dishes in the sink. Well, how can you obey? What if I say, no, I don't want to listen to my mom and dad and put the dishes in the sink. Did I obey? Hmm, no. What if I listen to my mom and dad and I put my dishes in the sink like she told me to do? Now I'm obeying, right? That's right, because the Bible tells us to obey. Excellent. Hmm. Let's see what else there is. Let's take a look. Hmm. I don't know. Let me see what's here. Oh. oh look, boys and girls, it's a doll. Can we pretend to play with the doll? Yeah, I think we can. Well, if my friend asks me to share my doll, what should I do? Hmm. The Bible says that we should be kind to one another. We should be kind to other people, and we should share our toys. How can I obey? Should I obey and share the doll with my friend, or should I not obey and keep the doll all for myself? What do you think? Share the doll or keep it? That's right, we should share. You're right, I should obey and share my doll. I'm gonna put it back and let's take out something else. What do we have here? Oh, I have a truck. And this is like my favorite truck. Mm -hmm. The truck goes vroom, right? Makes noises like that, yeah. Oh, look, oh, uh-oh. Someone broke it. Sometimes we break things, don't we? And, and we have to obey and tell the truth. If, if I break my friend's truck while playing with it, how can I obey? Should I lie to my friend and say, I didn't do it? Or should I tell the truth and say, I'm sorry, I broke your truck. I didn't mean it. You're right. You should say you're sorry, and you should let them know and tell the truth. Well, let's say our special words again. The Bible tells us to obey. So, when you tell the truth, you're obeying. Good job. Well, let me put this back in Grover, and we'll close Grover up for now. Well, 
I don't know. I, I, I'm feeling it right inside me. I'm feeling it. What is it? Oh, it's time to sing again. So let's stand up and we'll sing another song. Today we live. you to sit down. One, two, three. What book tells us to obey? The Bible. That's right. The Bible tells us to obey. Well, now we have a special treat for you. Remember I told you we're going to meet a special person, a special guest? Well, we're going to take a look and we're going to have a special story from our friend, named Douglas. Let's see what Douglas has to say to us. It doesn't matter how smart you are, you don't know everything. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and uh, I don't know about you, but sometimes I have a hard time following instructions. You know, I don't always want to do things exactly the way I'm told to do them, and sometimes I don't even like to look at the instructions at all. Like, you know, if I get some Legos or something, I, I like to build what's on the box, but I try to build it without looking at the instructions, see if I can do it, you know, kind of like a puzzle or something. Or if, you know, pretty much anything, I try to not follow the instructions if I can. You know, if the teacher says, you got to do this, I do that thing. But, but if I can get away with it, I usually try to do things my own way. And that might work out sometimes, but it is definitely a better idea to follow the instructions. And man, if we're talking about instructions from God, yeah, you should follow that every day single time but yeah there was this one time where um, my friend he was going to have this gigantic epic water fight so he invited all the kids from all over the neighborhood and we were going to have this giant big party and everybody was supposed to bring their water guns and and uh, his mom sent out a list to all of the families you know of things that they were supposed to bring you know stuff that we we were supposed to bring to this big old water fight and, uh, you know, I, I kind of looked at the list, and the list said, bring all these things, but I was like, eh, I don't really need to bring all those things, right? And so, yeah, like the water gun, I brought my water gun, and, and I brought my swim trunks and, and everything like that, but, but uh, on the list was goggles. 
And I was like, I don't really need goggles because, you know, it's just a water fight. We're just going to be squirting each other with these water guns. And if the water gets in your eyes, it's not that big a deal. And I knew they were going to have a slip and slide and stuff too. And I was like, I'll just close my eyes on the slip and slide. So we get to this party and, oh man, it was so much fun. We were, you know, squirting each other and we were going on this big old slip and slide. And he had this, you know, this like inflatable pool thing that he brought out. And it was this big fun party this this summer. And it, it was so much fun. But one of the things that they did at this party, at this big old water fight, was was they got a whole bunch of cans of shaving cream, right? And so it was a big old shaving cream fight too. So it's the water guns and the shaving cream. It's this huge big mess and it was super fun. And so I'm running around with the water gun and I'm spraying my friends and they're spraying me. And, and you know, we get the, the shaving cream and we're splattering it on each other. And, and, and everything was really fun and really fine until one of my friends, he snuck up behind me and he yells, Sneak attack! And he goes, Bleh! And splatters my face with a big old blob of shaving cream. And it got right up in my face and in my ungoggled eyes. You know, I'm a pretty good sport. If somebody gets me with the shaving cream, you know, it's all in good fun. But the second that shaving cream touched my eyes, I was just like, Aah! Oh, because it hurt so bad. My eyes were burning. It felt, it felt like my eyes were on fire. And so I'm like running around and I can't see because they burn so bad. And I'm trying to, you know, like get this stuff off of my face. And I'm running around and I can kind of just barely see. And I finally go and I find the pool. And I just take my head and I go, dunk, 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 dunk down into the water. And and I, and my eyes were like so red and they hurt so bad and everybody was just like staring at me because everybody's you know having fun but then all of a sudden I'm just screaming like a crazy person, and you know in the instructions for the party they said bring goggles but I didn't realize that you know we were gonna have a shaving cream fight or I didn't also realize that shaving cream hurts your eyes so bad, if I had known that I definitely would have brought the goggles, but that's kind of beyond the point, right? They knew that shaving cream burns your eyes, and they said, bring goggles. And so instead of just trying to do my own thing, trying to go my own way, I should have trusted them. They told me to bring goggles because they knew what would happen. So I should have obeyed. I should have followed those instructions. And I feel like that happens with us and God all the time. You know, God gives us these instructions, and we're like, yeah, I'll follow the instructions that make sense to me. But if I don't totally get the whole reason for following the instructions, I'm not going to follow them. That's a bad idea. Because God sees stuff that we don't. God sees the much bigger picture. And so if he tells you to do something, you should do it. Don't just pick and choose the stuff that makes sense to you. If God says do it, do it. If God says don't do it, don't do it. Because God sees the bigger picture. God knows everything that's going on. And so if he gives instructions, it's from the perspective of someone who knows everything. And our parents and our teachers, they're, they're not God, but they, they also have a bigger perspective than we do. If our parents tell us to do something, we should do it. Because they've got a bigger perspective. They know more than we do, like it or not. And so that's my challenge to you guys today, is that you would follow the instructions, that you would obey God and, and your parents and your teachers and, and really anybody who gives you instructions, that you would follow those instructions. Because even if you're super smart or super clever or whatever, you still don't know everything. And when people give us instructions, especially when God gives us instructions, it's not for us to pick and choose which ones we like and which ones we don't like, which ones we think are important, which ones we think aren't important. It's our job to obey. And if you follow God's instructions to the letter, you know, not just picking and choosing the ones that you like and don't like, but just faithfully following God and obeying his instructions, I promise that your life will go much, much better. Because if God knows everything, which he does, it is a very, very good idea to follow his instructions. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And hey, did you know that making these videos is my full-time job? Yeah, well, okay, not actually my full-time job. There's this guy named JJ who helps me quite a lot to make these videos. Actually, actually a whole lot. He, make, he, he helps me make these videos. And it's his whole job just to make these videos and to, to run my website and all that other stuff that goes along with this ministry of Douglas Talks. And he's only able to do this through the generosity of people like you. So if you would like to help support my ministry, you can go to patreon.com slash Douglas Talks and support us there. You know, you can see the people with their names over here. They're scrolling up. They, those are people that help us by sending us monthly support. And if you'd like to see your name over there or even your picture, then you should totally check it out. Patreon.com slash Douglas Talks. And you can learn all kinds of information about how you can support my ministry. Thank you guys so much. You are the best. God bless.
a great lesson. Wow, I learned a lot from this. I guess Douglas had to learn the hard way. He certainly would have been better off if he, if he would have followed instructions and obeyed and brought his goggles. As Douglas said, boys and girls, God always knows what is best for us, and it's always best to obey God. Well, we certainly have learned some great lessons today. We saw how God used Noah to build a big, big boat, and he got all of the animals, and he did exactly what God said, and God gave him a beautiful, beautiful rainbow as a promise. It's been great fun being with you today, boys and girls. Before we go, let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for the lessons that we have learned today, the lessons on obeying and, and the wonderful story that we heard about Noah and how Noah obeyed you. Help us to obey. Help us to tell the truth and be kind and do the things that you want us to do. And help us to obey when our parents ask us to do things. Thank you, Lord, for this day. We pray that you would bless us as we go this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, you can't go just yet. How about we end our time together singing another song? Let's stand up, and we'll see you all next week. Let's stand up and sing together. Bye.